Source Fed Nerd. I'm Lord Garrett. And I'm Sam Basher. With so many nerdalicious movies being announced and in development, it's no surprise that every day we're spoiled with new character and cast speculations. Today is no different. Yay! Goody! Well, what is it? You know Doctor Strange. They call me Doctor Strange. Hold on, is that the one with Benedict Crumplesnitch? Uh... Benishit Cumbershat, Brain Fart Camembert, Benadryl Cabbage Patch, Cumbershoot Oliver Platt, Rimba Cram Bumble Batch, Rinkadink Curdle Snoop. My name's Luigi McPenis. Ben my dick. Ooh, do, 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 do. Anyway, in the concept of Doctor Strange, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, oh, yeah. he visits an ancient mystic after losing the use of his hands, which is a bit of a problem since he's a pretty confident slash arrogant surgeon, and calls upon the aid of the ancient one who will be played by. Wait for it. Yep. Yeah. Keep waiting. Okay. Tilda Swinton. Oh. Hold on, isn't the Ancient One a dude? Yes, in the comics he's the mentor of Stephen Strange, teaching him everything he knows about the mystic arts and trains Strange to become the Sorcerer Supreme, the protector of Earth against all magical and mystical threats. I can see her as the Ancient One. I get it. I get it. You may, but people have taken to Twitter to complain. Who didn't see that coming? It's, you know, more or less the same group of people who are outraged about Michael B. Jordan being cast as Johnny Storm. Look, I get it. You grow attached to these characters through the years and you have the notion of who they should continue to be in your head. So when you see them cast as another race or a gender, you get upset. But look at it this way. Hollywood is an ever-changing, ever-evolving environment and the people that they cast aren't bad actors. Mm -mm. Tilda Swinton, Michael B. Jordan, they're gonna nail these roles. Plus, there are changes made. All the time. Change isn't always bad. At the end of the day, you're still gonna go see the movie. Yeah, let's be honest here. Yeah. You're gonna do it. The movie will begin shooting in November. Kevin Feige is producing and it'll hit cinemas November 4, 2016. In more casting news, Star Trek Cream Dream, Chris Pine is in talks with Warner Brothers and DC to play Wonder Woman's love interest, Steve Trevor. That boy's pretty. It's pretty awesome. It makes sense though because Steve is a pretty evolving character. His debut back in 1941 saw him as a US Army officer who crash lands his plane on Paradise Island, which is the home of Wonder Woman and her Amazonian tribe. In the 80s, his character was more of a father figure than a love interest. But back in 2011, it took on the modern take of his first form, but this time as a member of an anti-supervillain group who dated Diana. So we have no idea how Warner Brother plans to write Steve Trevor's character. There was actually some talks of Chris Pine possibly playing Hal Jordan in the Justice League movie, and I still stand by that. He'd be so good. I know. He's so pretty. Pretty. So by signing on to this, is he signing away his rights to be any other superhero in the Marvel or DC universe? Wonder Woman doesn't come out until 2017. So who are you more excited to see? Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One or Chris Pine as Steve Trevor? Let us know in the comments down below. I pine for Pine. I swoon for Swinton. <sighs> I want to go Super Saiyan. And if you like Tomorrowland, you won't believe the other lands I'm gonna take you to. Like what?